I am risk loving because I've won the biggest gamble uh, in my life during my battle with cancer. I moved from Beijing to Boston in 2014. Not in anybody's plans, the whole family had to move to give me the best treatment possible. Completely changed my life, I would say. Battling through something while transitioning to a completely new environment. Something that I really enjoyed during the days of my treatment was Magic Tricks, a Penn & Teller Fool Us series. I don't know if you know, but I took an interest in Magic Tricks and started sort of performing as an amateur. I joined a club in Wellesley, and particularly during the treatment days was something for me to escape to. I really love collecting playing cards. I noticed that there is a gap in playing card designs. Lots of the designs that people are putting out for limited edition playing cards are all Western style. I wanted to incorporate Eastern designs, and that led me to create my own company, Zealous Star. And thanks to Idea and Northeastern, we've sold over 50,000 decks to date. Entrepreneurship as a whole, I think it's characterized by going through challenges, experimenting with new things, and just trying out whatever is possible. I think getting that entrepreneurial mindset into people really early on is very important and sort of why I chose Northeastern from the start. No matter which subject or which path you take, the structure of the education as well as the co-op programs. They are there to motivate you to take a look at what's available and to experiment, talk to people and network. I find that the entire Mosaic organization has been particularly helpful. I've seen how my venture progressed and how other people's venture progressed. So when you see them work on stuff and being driven to do so, it really helps quite a bit for you to get the mindset right. What I have received, I will always try to give back in return. An idea has been particularly helpful in terms of connecting me to the people that I need. So I want to help others put their own passion into the goods. That's what's driven me quite a bit in what, in what I do. And that's most likely the primary driver for my career choices in the future too, whether it's in entrepreneurship or something else. The doctors told me exactly for stage three survival rates, I'm looking at less than 40%. So even less than a coin toss. And if I was able to win that and beat the odds in that way, then there's really not um, anything out there that I wouldn't take a chance at.